Hey there, wonderful saints. We've got a good, beautiful, powerful word this morning. So our word is coming out of John 13, 20, and we also got John 13, 34 through 35. And I titled it, In the Spirit of God. Now let us pray. Dear Father God, we thank you for this glorious, wonderful day, Father. We ask that you use these lips, Father, to bring your word and bring clarity and understanding, Father, for your sheep, Father. We're asking that you continue, Father, to just grow us in your knowledge of your might and strength, and that you protect us in this evil day, in Jesus' mighty, powerful name. So, saints, this is a beautiful word right here, and in this word, let us understand that Jesus tells us he's going to be sending people to us. How will we know if Jesus is sending people to us? That's why it's important to be in the Spirit. That's why it's important to be in daily fellowship. That's why it's important to constantly involve yourself and immerse yourself in Jesus' word so it can become like first in nature to you. Let us bring clarity and understanding in this word of John 13, 20. Jesus says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that receiveth whomsoever I send to you, receiveth me. And he that receiveth me, receiveth him that sent me. So let's understand, if we receive the person who Jesus has sent to us, not only do you receive him, but you receive the Father as well. How will we know if Jesus is sending somebody to us? In the Spirit. If you are in the Spirit and you know that you and an individual have certain things going on, Jesus might put it on your heart to go back around there and share the love of the gospel to them or just to just to share kind words. But are you doing that? If you were looking at the circumstances that you guys had in the past and that is preventing you from sharing the love of Christ in you, then we need to check our heart. We need to check the power that Christ has put in us and maybe get ourselves in a position to where we can grow in the knowledge of what Christ is doing. If Christ be in us, that is separate from what our own heart wants to do. If you've been renewed in the right spirit and mind, then you know that every time that people come into your area or space or Jesus sends people to you, you speak kind words to them. You don't hang up the phone on them. You don't do the things that they did to you. You don't do that back to them. This is the difference what, what the power of Christ Jesus gives us. So let us understand this word, saints, and let us understand what Christ is doing in our life. So let's go to the next one. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye love also one another. And by this shall all men know that you are my disciples, if ye love one another. So let's understand here, saints, that if we have been given the power of Christ, Christ loved us when we were no good. Christ came and found us and put his spirit inside of our vessels when we were no good. So the thing that we can do is allow people the opportunity to, for us to share the love of the gospel with them, even though they are no good to us. So saints, don't miss this call. When Jesus tells on our spirit for us to go and on full display to allow people to see the love that he's put inside of us, by this shall all men know that you are a part of him when you are not doing as they do, but you are doing as Christ says to do, and that's to show the love, even in a sticky situation. So this is a beautiful word right here, saints. I hope you got some out of it. In Jesus' mighty powerful name, hallelujah.